I wanted to jump on and do a quick video now that we are about halfway done with our early neurological stimulation with this litter of puppies. I will post in the comments below a description of what that is, but I didn't want to take the time to do it in this video. I have a basket of seven adorably fluffy puppies. They don't like this very much, but it pays huge dividends. So this is one of our little girls. What you do is you put a cotton swab between their toes. We do this from day three until day 16. Oh, good girl. And then we hold them straight up. For about five seconds and then we hold them straight down. She'll start to scream in a minute. Good girl. And then on their back. And then on a cool cloth. It's okay if they back off. She's all done. She didn't think that was too bad. She's getting used to it, which is kind of the purpose. And I'll take another one. Who do we have here? Another little girl. Grab the cotton swab again. Put it between her toes. This helps adjust them to stressors. We all know life has stressors even when babies are growing and as they become adults. It helps strengthen their heart. It helps give them a calmer response to struggles that they might face. Did I go up? Did I go down? Well, I'm supposed to go in order. I got to talk and no one paid attention. I hope she's not mad at me. She might be. I already know. Then we we'll just put her on the table. Two down. Who's next? This looks like it might be one of the boys. Nope, another little girl. Back to the cotton swab. Between the toes. Now, the first day we did this, they did not like their toes being separated and tickled by a cotton swab. But they're adjusting to all of these uncomfortable situations in their young life. <laughs> She's got a little stronger on that part left in her. See if she calms down on her back. Yep. They all struggled with most of these in the early days. We have to be getting to some boys here in a minute. Yeah, this is a little boy. I think this was the puppy that was born first on September 18th, Saturday. Started going into labor about 3.30 in the morning and she had her first puppy at like 8.45, I think. So it was kind of a long morning for everybody, but you came out okay. So did all your brothers and sisters. Good job. <laughs> See if he calms down on his back. Yep. Isn't that funny? And on to the cool pots. Three left. Another little girl. Tomorrow, we're going to do our first nail clipping with this little litter. And they'll have them, their nails clipped once a week until 
you take them home. So working with their paws this young really helps adjust them to that. You don't want to battle a hundred pound girl with mountain dog to cut their nails. Oh, she does not like this. Okay, it's okay. Does that help you settle you? Not even a little bit. Not so much trouble. Okay. This is our last little girl in the litter to do early neurological stimulation with. We call it ENS for short. And again, the description of what that is and how it benefits our pets is in the description box below this video. She's chill. See if she stays chill. Good job. Settle down. She's got her little tongue out. I don't know if you the video can pick that up or not. <laughs> On her belly she goes. And we have the last puppy, which has to be a boy. And it is. He's a chunk. So he's got the paw, the front paws of his dad, Aslian. Isn't he precious? Oh, my. Okay. They're all precious. They all had their dew claws removed. And those are healing up nicely. That's what those little scabs are that you're seeing on some of their feet. They haven't quite healed up yet. So. Good job. Right side up. Upside down. to the cool cloths. And that's it. ENS is done for another day.